What's up y'all? It's me Tasha C and in this particular video y'all I will be reviewing Marrying the Game Season 3 Episode 2 also should be known as Do the Birdie. I, am I doing this right y'all? I don't... Okay it's not... Okay never mind. Alright anyways shout out to my YouTube fam my older new subscribers. If you're not a subscriber click down the button in the long you know, and uh don't forget to share and like. And comment, you know, I do have to get back on my comments, okay? Um, but I do pay attention to them all, y'all. So, we're starting to see more of how the game and both um, Tiffany are adjusting their lives being separate. Um, after so many years again. So, it's just like part two. Now, Tiffany, once she, we see the first ep uh, um, scene, she's up here with the kids. Um, you know, one of them art stores where you like basically you're painting, you know, the pottery thing of your choice and, um, you know, little statues or whatever. And, um, the kids are, you know, starting in the point whereas when, you know, like Callie especially was bringing it up, you know, mommy, when I'm not near you, you know, I miss you. And Justice sitting here like, this needs more of this paint. And, you know, we see Callie, but I mean, all uh, the game's kids are adorable. So, but Callie's going to be one of those kids, I swear, I'm surprised they haven't thought about putting on a commercial. Because she's one of those kids to be selling, like, you know, everything from the, the uh, <laughs> like, well, I don't know what commercial we can put her in. You know, not like the, she, she's a little, uh, I don't know to put in a Gerber commercial. But she's just one of those kids who just win you over. Hi, I like Oscar Myers. <laughs> Stuff like that. Callie just has, like, one of those faces that... And her personality to be so little and kind of like be the way that she is. She just seems like the type that will be like, there will be one to get her for some commercials and some TV shows and stuff. And maybe some movie theaters. That's kind of how she's given me that experience so far. And so, you know, Tiffany later on, they show the class. And, you know, um, she has a nice dress on. I don't know, maybe it would just be y'all. But I was thinking, like, I know it's probably some boys because, I mean, they're kind of like middle school kids. And I'm just saying it might be some boys that's in there looking to teach her the wrong way and stuff. And Tiffany is a beautiful woman and stuff. And I just think, you know, the dress, it was a nice dress. But, you know, I just, I just think, I don't know. I just felt like, I don't know why I'm thinking that, uh. Some of us, I don't know, so y'all, I got a five-year-old nephew, and already sometimes, I mean, he likes Rihanna, and it's not because of her music, if you know what I mean. Okay, we leave it as that. But what I'm saying is, is that all of a sudden, right before they go to recess, you know, Tiffany says, if nobody knows, I teach us, and that she loves it as a way of her venting, and all of a sudden, all the kids were to go out, do the birdie, do the birdie. <laughs> yeah, let me stop. Anyways... So, she talks to her colleague that we've seen in the last episode. So, maybe that's who we're going to be seeing on a regular basis um, throughout is her colleague. And she does, like, educational visuals and, like, you know, children's books and stuff. You know, so educational supplemental tools. And she decides that, you know, maybe with Tiffany's dealing with the situation with her kids and them getting adjusted to um, the situation of them now having to be in between two homes instead of one. And, um, so she's thinking about this going to way not only help her kids probably with their situation of making, like, I guess, starting to write for books, um, books, but also other children that may be, you know, in two houses, um, as far as going back and forth instead of just one. And so she's thinking about that idea. Then later on, she meets with Amarosa, and Amarosa's asking, like, how do you feel about what's going on now with y'all being in two separate households? And she's just like, at first she used to, you know, the kids, you know, going back and forth to different, you know, you know, Jason's house, you know, the black house, as he calls it. And, you know, her house. And she first used to cry, but now she's kind of getting adjusted to it better. And I think Omarosa might have asked her what she think. I think one of them asked each other what they date, and then they just kind of brushed off the question of her, or I really didn't hear what they were talking about. So, yeah. So let's get into the game. So like I said, the show's only 30 minutes long. If you take out commercials, it's really like about almost 20 minutes. So it's not that much you have to review. Now the game, just like Tiffany has found this path, um, a new venture that, you know, help people. Um, recently the game has made the Robin Hood um, charity that I, or non-profit organization, same thing, um, that he's talked about. And it seemed like in these last couple months, I guess he was saying it's very recent, he came up with this charity and he wants to, if he can, find a way to help people in need or he feels need, he just wants to feel and help people. And, um, you know, touch them with 
trying to help them financially and I guess emotionally wise you know bit or help give their spirits up and he has first his assistant comes and she asks us our different thoughts here and we have a PSA moment with the game explaining what thoughts as far as every initial means I heard that hole over there but in his case it was the thirsty holes over there am I correct over there or that yeah Okay, so it could be either those holes or thirsty. Either or, they're correct. There's still holes over there. And so, um, he was just talking about his organization and how he's really trying to help people. His, one of the people he recently, young, it was a young boy named John, who I guess was one of his inspirations. And um, it, um, the, um his assistant Lolo Lola Lolo was saying like um you know well we can probably get a bowling alley raise money that's the purpose of like you start having like charity events and stuff so that way you can help more people people able to donate and give that can help contribute to what you're trying to accomplish with helping people and later on we find out this young this lady comes in and her daughter I think was named Alita got rest the little baby girl soul and she end up dying as a result of this just this messed up gun violence and was killed by a stray bullet I think at a birthday party so that was kind of like the inspiration of, of Jason to the game JC on we call him J okay to sit here and be inspired to do this program because of situations like this and he asks the mother you know is she going to be able to attend the event because she was explaining her story about how at first getting over and dealing with circumstances nobody knew she was going through in the mourning process but now she's able you know to move on so bless her in her journey especially going something as tragic as that and so later on, he has a bowling event and um you know he has couples he has two short also known as what's my favorite word Bitch. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't mean to say that, but every time I think about too short, that is one of the words he is known for. And um, then you got Khloe Kardashian, and I think Mika, one of the twin, you know, the two twins, also know from an ATL movie that the Kardashian stuff associated with Claudia Jordan and all these people coming out. And there's a young, no, 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 oh my gosh, I got the name mixed up. I don't know what that woman's name because the little girl who was at the party I think was named the Leah. Oh my gosh, I did not mean to do that. I I forgot honestly the young lady. I, I just was kind of like it was just so sad to hear. I, I forgive me y'all for who, who I don't remember the name of the young lady who was a little girl that was killed. But bless her heart anyway. You know the the mother who had to suffer through that. But the little girl who's around Callie's age, um, recently lost. I think her mom. I think that was the one. Um, lost her mom in a car accident just a week before. So the game is looking from the angle, it's like, you know, I couldn't imagine, you know, going through something like that. So he's going to, you know, experience and, you know, Callie and this little girl, Leah, are sitting here bowling together and stuff. And I think it might have been Justice later on, or may, I make another little boy. But I mean, they he, all of a sudden, he hit, he, I don't know if he hit a whole, you know, hit all the pins and stuff when he was wrong. But whatever it was, time for the birdie. Time for the birdie. But yeah, it kind of ended at that note that I guess it was success of the Bolger, the charity, and the game hopes to make a million dollars. Um, it's his goal. So I hope he does make it too and he continue able to help out because he's like this. I want to give to the poor, but I don't want to take, but I do want to help. So I hope he's successful. I mean, even though despite we know not to bring it up and, you know, um, mess up the review or the good thing going. But, you know, hopefully this stuff can be straightened out. And I hope it's not true about the other circumstances that are flying out that we hear on the internet. So, anyways, y'all. Y'all have a pleasant week, pleasant my tasting weekend. And I definitely will see y'all in the next video. And birdie away. <sighs> okay, I should stop. But, <laughs> anyways, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one. And we will see more of Mary the Game, which kind of... We could just, it's, uh, it should be called playing the game or something because now it's kind of weird hearing playing the game, marrying the game when it's no longer that. But okay, y'all. Anyway, y'all take care.